nothing on the scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero as the offense gets ready to take over the football. Now Griffin. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's brought down. The numbers for McLaurin a week ago. Just a really crisp, clean effort. Well over 100 yards receiving. But didn't you feel like he needed a hug when we talked with him this week? Oh, because he wanted the touchdowns. He wanted the touchdowns. <laughs> he was all depressed after that performance. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You were brilliant. He's like, yeah, but I didn't get in the end zone. He must have heard from the fantasy players on that one. Looking to throw again on second down. Griffin, here's a diving catch right side. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. Griffin. Going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. This would have been a 54 yard boot had they tried a field goal, but they will not try a field goal. They're going for it. They're going on fourth down. It's Griffin. Every play is supposed to get a player's best effort. But on fourth down, that really increases the stakes, doesn't it? What about that catch? Heck of an effort, picking up the first. And now that team has to be motivated going forward. They just saw a great effort there. They want to make sure it pays off. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, Griffin. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Off the edge, Mario Addison gets the sack. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin. His second touchdown on the season. And Washington has taken a first quarter lead. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. These two teams all tied after one. They'll run here with Gibson. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Play action. It's Griffin. Taking a shot for Samuel. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. 
And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down now, it's Gibson. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And this might be a little bit of a surprise for everyone, as it was for me to learn that J.D. McKissick wound up with 80 catches last year out of the backfield, quietly the second most among all NFL running backs. And that was with Antonio Gibson as a rookie running the ball so effectively. But maybe we shouldn't be so surprised. McKissick, a wide receiver in college. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Peyton Barber. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. After the interception, here's Griffin. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and the Bears are going to get it back here just shy of the... So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Final play of the half, it's Griffin. And he will find his man, Samuel. Pass the 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is... Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly hoped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, You've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. They will run it. It's McKissick. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And now they're in the hurry up. Out of the gun, Griffin. They'll dump that off to Gibson complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. To throw again on second down, Griffin. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They go play action with Griffin. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, right at the 40. Once again, Griffin slings this deep from McClure. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. That one caught by the tight end, Bates. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They go play action. Griffin. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10. To throw is RG3. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Griffin will throw again. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills will take over here. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? The throw over the middle, taken in. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Throwing again on second down. Griffin over the middle, and there's a diving catch. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. Now it's Griffin. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, that's a defense coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Fourth down. Here's RG3. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? On first down, Griffin. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free at its second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A carry for Gibson. And he's got room. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Gibson. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The 71 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. Gibson is in. Touchdown, Washington. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? Now Griffin on first down. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Though so definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. And that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They'll go. It's Gibson. Yeah, he will have a first down here at about the 40. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And they're going to face a third down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Oh, Griffin's going to throw. He'll air this one out deep for Sims. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Washington, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they'll fall to 1-2. and two, And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Texans.